Hey you guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the 2020 Leapal Z1 Gamut portable monitor that was sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing in this video. If you've been following me on my channel, you know that I always do like some videos for portable monitors. 2020, I still I haven't done any video for 2020 for portable monitors. And I did accept to do a video on this one because this is a 2020 version from Lipo. And apparently it's way better than the first one. I did test it out. It does look very, very vibrant, vibrant when it comes to colors compared to the ones that I've done before. And that's something that really catch my eyes. And of course, it's very thin and all. Uh, the reason I have all this right here, the Nintendo Switch, of course, is that it connects directly to the portable monitor without a dock and that is really cool gaming looks awesome here on this monitor no matter what console you're playing on and of course uh if you're using it for productivity this is going to be perfect as well because it you know it works as a second monitor or an extension to the computer that you have to a laptop or to a desktop whatever you want whatever you actually need a second monitor so let's go ahead and unbox this of course just like always i use my products then i put it back in a box that way you have an idea how they look when you unbox them right so here we got everything uh, there's something that i didn't use like the uh, screen protector it comes with this screen protector but i don't like using them you know, this is a big monitor, so you shouldn't be scratching this easily. Um, this is a USB cable that is used for power. USB-C to USB-A, and it uses this right here. This dock right here, this block right here. This is used to actually power the screen. And below the monitor, you're going to have all the other cables essentially for this. And of course, you got like warranty. Uh, you got monitor accessory introduction and you got the user guide here as well and this right here is a mini hdmi you know hdmi to hdmi mini hdmi to hdmi the monitor actually has this input and it outputs to normal hdmi and over here we got the usb-c to usb-c uh, this is the cable you're going to basically use from, for example, from your computer to the monitor. This cable is also used to connect the Nintendo Switch directly to the monitor using USB to USB-C. But of course, keep in mind, you still need to power the monitor using the power cable. That's something that because the uh, Nintendo Switch is not as powerful as the uh, computer, of course. And here, this, what is it? A uh, patch installation kit. Okay, I did not use this. So this is basically to like to clean your, I guess your monitor or something like that. I did not use this at all. Okay, so here we got the monitor. Let's go and take this out. And of course it has a case. Okay, this is the back of the monitor. Let's go show you guys the back of the monitor first. This is how it looks. You got the... Type C portable display, USB. You got over here, you got the uh, ports, power, you got up and down volume, and you also got the power button over here. Uh, you got the HDMI and USB C and headphone jack logos right there. Um, over here has like a little protective screen. Gonna throw that to the side, and there it is. This is how the monitor actually look. Like you see right there, you have the branding of the Lipo. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I don't know, Lip Lipo. There you go. Looks very nice. I think it looks very, a lot better than the other monitor that I'd done before from 2019. Has a very nice look there in the bottom with the logo. And of course it has like that chamfered edges, like that all around the screen as well, which is very, very slightly, not so much pronounced. And over here, you got the inputs. You got a uh, USB-C. This one actually gives you video and power. So you actually plug in the power here. But if you're connecting it from the computer to the monitor using USB-C with power, you would only use this, this uh, section right here. And that's it. 
Uh, you got um, the menu button right here. You got the power button right there. You got a speaker right there. Uh, this actually has stereo speakers. So you got one speaker on each side. Uh, it's not that incredible considering that it has stereo speakers. I wish it actually sounded a lot louder. Uh, but of course you can always connect like external speakers using the headphone jack 3.5 millimeter jack or you can actually hook up headphones of course uh, here you got USB-C this is only used for video not power just video input so if you're going to connect your Nintendo Switch here without a dock you can connect it to this port right here this is the HDMI mini HDMI like you see right there and that's it so look how thin this thing is really nice and it also feels really light as well so the thinness is actually 0 0.34 0 0.34 inches and it only weighs 1.7 pounds one thing that I like about the case is that it attaches to the back uh, magnetically so if you put it right there it attaches and I like can see here it gets a little bit there's a little bit resistant to actually take this out and there it is so you actually have a couple angles you could choose from you could choose right here right or you could choose over here and that's it so the size of the screen is actually 15.6 full hd 1080p screen and yes it's only 60 hertz but like i said i've been playing video games on it and i'm surprised how cool and vibrant the colors actually look here i'm gonna go ahead and test it out with the nintendo switch right here because um you know i'm very heavy nintendo switch user especially when it comes to mobile gameplay right and i'm gonna just show you guys how it actually works uh, first of all you want to connect the power to the screen right um, you're going to use my own usb c cable connected to the power uh, you're going to connect the cable over here that's the power section uh, of course like i said i'm using my own cable but you would actually use uh, this cable which is included but i'm using my cable now right here i'm going to go ahead and connect the nintendo switch here like you see there oops and what I'm going to do is connect it here to the USB-C port. There you go. It connected to the USB-C port. And now well, it's going to turn off because it detected that it's connected to the screen. And that is it. Like you see right there, you do not need a dock to actually use this screen with the nintendo switch i'm going to use this controller of course once you connect it there you can't like i see there you can't actually use these buttons you're going to have to use one of these controllers and there you have it of course always carefully lay down your nintendo switch because you don't want to damage your ports whatsoever and that's it that's how it actually works here so right now if i want to watch uh, like a little a video that I recorded here from some of my gameplays. I could do that. I can see there. Really cool. So that's one thing that I really like about this screen that it looks damn freaking gorgeous compared to the other screens that I've been doing videos for. Um, if you follow my channel, you know what I mean. The colors are way more vibrant. I never owned a Lipal screen before, but apparently the big deal with this screen is that it is 60% more um, percentage in color gamut, upgrade in color gamut. I don't know exactly if it's 99% gamut that it has because I don't have a device to measure the gamut. And it, it's weird that it doesn't actually mention how much gamut does it have, you know. Um, also, the brightness has also been upgraded by 20%, I think it is, or by 20 CDM. Uh, it used to be 300, now it's 320 so with the upgrade so that makes the screen looks really 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 damn nice like you see right there i have it just looks really really gorgeous it don't matter what kind of game you're playing here it actually looks really really damn nice and of course it's very slim um you can also of course connect it to your computer like you see here on the video i did connect it to my computer and you can use it as a second monitor with your laptop i did connect it to my laptop using the usb cable and um like you see there you could use it as a second monitor you could use it as your main monitor you can um, swap if you use uh, share the monitors you can actually share 
uh, the same monitor on both devices like you can use one screen to do your homeworks or projects or actually watch videos and the other monitor you can actually use it to uh, actually do some work or edit videos and all that so for me when it comes to a second monitor if you're looking to buy a second monitor I think this is not a bad deal price is not that bad either for the specs that it has and for the video quality that it has it only goes for 199 and the other day like a week ago i think it was on sale for 169 dollars which is freaking great for this size of screen with the colors as well so but here of course we're coming back here to the nintendo switch um everything looks so damn good everything looks so damn good the colors so so really popping I'm here right now, we're in a different world. Look at how this Sniff City looks here. It just looks damn gorgeous, look at that. And we zoom here a little bit more so you guys see. Look at that, ah, da, 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 da. look at that. Very nice looking colors. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah that's one thing that i like about this screen it looks really damn awesome so up yeah baby i don't know what's going on here i am really enjoying this game i don't know a lot of people don't like this game i i really love it <laughs> I also use this monitor with the PlayStation 4 and I can see right here all the games actually look pretty good I did play Ghost of Tsushima in this monitor and damn it looks really damn nice uh, Like you see here on the video I also play like MLB the show to see how the green looks you know with the baseball uh, ground and grass and all that it looks damn awesome and everything else everything else no complaints whatsoever when it comes to that and of course but of course when you're connecting this to the uh, playstation 4 or xbox one you still need to connect the power of course but you actually use the hdmi cable the hdmi to mini hdmi and that's it that's all you need just one cable for that and you are done that's all you need to do also with the xbox one x as well i did connect it like you see here some gameplay like i said it should work perfect with any console whatsoever i did play ufc 4 which is the latest game that i'm playing a lot on my console uh xbox one console and damn the game just looks nice the colors are very popping characters are very nice detailed um, also the if you're watching videos here as well or YouTube and all that no problem with the colors you know trailers look good I, I think I can show you guys some couple trailers here without getting in trouble but there's not that much you can actually say from a portable monitor because like I said uh, this is just a portable monitor um, one thing that I wish that portable monitors actually did I think there are monitors out there that are a little bit more expensive but have power integrated like a, a integrated power battery that you can actually power the bat the screen without using power that would be cool if um i actually receive one of those monitors because i think there is not only this monitor but most of these portable monitors you still need to use the power cable connected to the power of course and you either use the hdmi or you use the usb-c for video input the speakers i didn't like it that much i played a whole bunch of games like you're gonna hear here a little bit when i'm done with the video i'm gonna share a couple videos especially doom i played doom here eternal from the place xbox one x and damn it looks really damn good so i might finish the video with a little bit of gameplay of doom uh, but the sound it sounds good at 100%, but not that much. For me, it should sound a lot more richer and louder, but it doesn't sound that loud at all. Now, one thing that I wanted to show you guys that I didn't show you guys was the settings. Now, the settings is another thing that's not that special. Um, if you see my other videos, uh, you're going to be very, very familiarized. Uh, when you tap over here, it's going to tap right there. 
there you go you see the settings right there and in settings uh there's just a couple things you could do you could control brightness and contracts and, and back levels black levels uh, you can actually change the uh, color standard like for example if you want to go to gaming standard rts fps text and movie and games that's it right now i have it in games and that's how it looks you got dcr you got aspect ratio uh, here you got color temperature you got language osd timer transparency you got mute off or volume and you got the signal source which is type c right now because we're using type c if you put the hdmi you'll see the hdmi right there uh, low blue lights hdr mode as well so you can actually turn hdr on as well like you see that it actually forces hdr but i really don't like using them i really don't like um, forcing hdr because most of the times it looks like too too dark and the contrast really like too exaggerated so i just don't like to use that i just leave it off and whatever game actually has hdr you know i'll just turn it on and of course like you see there's only 19 20 1080p 60 hertz if you expect something more than that, most likely it's going to be more expensive, but that would be nice as well. You know, it would be nice for a portable monitor like this. Uh, if you're t and tailoring this for gamers, uh, you should go at least at least 90 hertz, at least 90 hertz, because with the Xbox One series, Xbox Series X coming out, the PS5 coming out, there's going to be a lot of games that are going to be running at 90 hertz, 120 or 144 hertz. So. Uh, would be nice if these screens actually become a little bit more powerful than they've been so far i'm gonna leave links in my description just in case you are interested in getting a monitor like this uh, but it goes like i said it goes for around a hundred and ninety nine dollars 199 dollars and like i said i did receive this so i can try it out and make a video for you guys so that's what i'm doing here in this video 60 hertz is good for mostly everything like because right now i'm still in 2020 there's like most things run especially when it comes to consoles most things runs at 60 hertz i'm gonna also share a little bit of gameplay right after i'm done here so you guys can have an idea how the screen performs and other than that guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about the leapal 2020 z1 gamut screen like i said i'll leave links in my descriptions just in case you're interested in getting one of these thanks for watching till next time guys bye bye